forget about placing pictures in cells. In this tutorial, I am going to show you a quick and easy method for displaying pictures. You can hide and show them whenever you want. If you choose, you can show just one at a time. They don't take up any cell space. Even though Excel has a new feature for placing images into cells, unless the images are very small, it can be difficult and most of the time impractical. You have to readjust all of the rows and columns. Your images need to be the same size unless you are going to adjust every row and column differently. I have already added a picture of a saw in a note. Placing images in a note is much more practical. When you place an image in a note, there is no need to adjust the rows and columns. The images are displayed only when you want them to show. You can make them any size you want. Spreadsheet data very often contains product and part number IDs. Wouldn't it be nice to have a picture of that product or part number to associate with that ID so that you know instantly what it is? Or have pictures of charts associated with dates? When you create a note, a red triangle is placed in the upper right corner. You only need to move your cursor over the triangle to see the image. You can add text to the image even after you have already created the note with the picture. I want to add text to identify the saw. To do that, I will need to edit the note. I will right click on the cell and then select Edit Note. I will type Circular Saw. You can change the text properties and location. I will bold the text and change the font size to 14. When I click on a different cell and move my cursor back to the triangle, you can see that the text now appears in front of the image. I will right click on the cell and select Edit Note. I want the text to appear on the right side of the note. I will select the text and then click on the Align Right button. When I click on a different cell and move my cursor back to the triangle, you can see that the text now appears on the right side of the note. I will create a new note for the next product. I will click on the Review tab. I will click on the Notes button and then select New Note. The Excel username appears on the note by default. If you don't want any text, you can delete the name in the note by dragging across it and then pressing the Delete key. Now that you have created a note, you can add a picture. Move the cursor on the note's border. The cursor should appear with four arrows. Right-click on the border of the note. Select Format Comments. Comments and notes are different. Even though it says Comments, you will actually be formatting the note. Excel's Format Comments dialog box is used for formatting both notes and comments. Click on the Colors and Lines tab. Click on the down arrow for Color, then select Fill Effects. Click on the Picture tab, then click on the Select Picture button. Locate the picture you want to use, then click on the Insert button. Be sure to check the Lock Picture Aspect Ratio option. Click on the OK button for the Fill Effects dialog box. Drag out the resize handle to make it whatever size you want. When I click on a different cell and move my cursor over the triangle, you can see the picture. If I want to resize the image at a later time, I need to right-click on the cell, then select Edit Note. I can then resize it. 
Instead of clicking on the Review button and then clicking on the Note button, I can right-click on the cell and then select New Note. I will change the username to Drill. I will right-click on the Notes border and select Format Comment. Click on the Colors and Lines tab. Click on the down arrow for color, then select Fill Effects. Click on the Picture tab, then click on the Select Picture button. Locate the picture you want to use, then click on the Insert button. Be sure to check the Lock Picture Aspect Ratio option. Drag out the resize handle to make it whatever size you want. The images for each part number appear as I move my cursor over the red triangles. I will right-click on the cell of the first product and select Show Hide Note. The picture continues to show when I move my cursor away. I will right-click on the second product and select Show Hide Note. Now both pictures continue to show when I move my cursor away. I will right-click on the second product and again select Show Hide Note. This time the picture no longer shows. The Show Hide Note option works like a toggle switch, turning showing or hiding the note on or off. I want to show all the notes at the same time. I will click on the Notes button and select Show All Notes. All the notes appear. The notes are covering each other, but moving your cursor over a cell puts that cell's note at the top. The Show All Notes option always works like a toggle switch. I will click on it again to turn off the Show All Notes option. Deleting a note is as simple as right-clicking on the cell, then selecting Delete Note. You can use it to display your employee pictures. An excellent usage would be to have a column of dates with notes showing financial charts from those days so that you can easily view how your business was doing on that date. You can use Excel's little-known camera tool to create the pictures of your charts, along with text and other graphics to be displayed in your notes. I created a video on how to use the Excel camera tool, which you can click on at the end of this video, or you can click on it in the description below. Please let me know what you would like to see in my next video. Thank you. Have a great day.